All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. The winner's matchup. Winner moves on to the finals. Loser moves on to face the Cunninghams in the decider match. Rue Kill, what do we have for tanks? 150, 100, a T32, T69, two WZ132s, two T1 Cunninghams for Simp, the red team spawning in the south. In the north, the blue team. Arbus has a 5100, two T32s, two 1390s, two T1 Cunninghams. And, uh, well, I'm just going to go with uh, Simp gets hill control. Not even going to contest that. Arbus, don't even try. They've got the 85 mils on there. Look at the little muzzle break there. Heavy 20, Blue Boys Captain, firing fast. Doing lots of DPMs. Shooting bad men. But you're firing heat. And you've got T32s to fight. Which should be a difficulty. Carbon Ward and Sella firing into Heavy 20. One shot lands Not for bad. 242. Not bad. And they fall back. That's okay. That gives uh, a little bit back to Arbus's situation. We've got Singh firing once at Ox Mathis and Legit, who will be taking the water side west. If Simp just pushes on through, just doesn't stop, there's the potential for them to just win this outright. They've got great consistent fire with Blue Boys and Heavy 20. Sing, Adroxas, and Crimson bring a solid amount of damage. They just have to worry about Akiyama. Akiyama in that 5100 sitting on the high ground. He is dangerous. Incredibly so. And Blue Boys Captain trails off uh, the middle. Does 195 damage to his own tank. Yep, gotta slow down on that stuff. Yeah, it's tough to break when gravity's pulling you so hard down. I mean, there are ways, guys. There's safe ways down. And legit firing towards the high ground. That's a Droxus. Two hits. 479 damage. And firing in for another one. And Sing, did Sing just catch fire? Sing, less than half health now. Crimson Corsair, Corsair takes another hit. Simp is being rounded up and shot in the center. Wow, okay, that's nice. Arbus is starting this off pretty strong. And Mac G is not really gonna be able to do much of anything in his T1. He's gonna try and get some spotting. Oh, uh, that's it, Blue Boys. They moved him over. He's in the south now, watching this position. Once they peek up again, they'll they'll get their, their just desserts. <laughs> Bringing out some of that old school English. I mean, shells are delicious and nutritious. <laughs> Get yourself an 85 mil. Sell a carbon ward, still dancing back and forth. That HP value victory right now for RBIS is huge. But they have to not get overzealous, not get overconfident, and not push out unnecessarily here. Unless they have a, a pincer strike working together. Don't think it's coming. No. I don't see Carbon Warden Sella moving much. No, that Blue Boy's captain position is perfect to stop this mines play. At least to try to counter it for some of those tanks that were doing a lot of damage to the center. What about Gabriel Angelos? Gabriel Angelos. Donde estas? Allá en este. He's in the east. Mm. He is in the bushes. Well, if he moves up, he could be a potential situation to distract Simp, which could, combined with an actual push from Arbus could get something done. Definitely could be. This type of alleyway, if he's able to spot Fej, perhaps win that T1 victory and head towards the flag cap that could force Blue Boy's captain to deal with it for a small window of opportunity for RBIS to press in another situation. Although Blue Boy's is that fast. He can just turn around and in a few seconds, right back into the fight. So I, I guess I just figured out my own, answered my own question. I guess. All right, but, hey, that's part of life. Yeah. Akiyama now on the reload. Carbon Ward, Sella. Still waiting for an opportunity for Simp to, to push in towards him. But that opportunity might not happen at all. I don't think Simp's gonna make any pushes. I don't think so either. Six minutes, four seconds, plenty of time. They're down on hit points. I mean, what What are you going to do? Simp's going to push? No, they don't have those kinds of advantages. They don't exist. But what? Sing. Sing. He moves up. Sing. That's a bad idea. He's at half health. Sing wants him. I think it's a bad idea. I do not recommend pushing up at half health against full health opponents. Just doesn't seem like... All right, now Legit's... Going to finish his reload, looking for an opening again against Simp in the center. Oh, legit is peeking out. 
He sees, get, does he see Adroxus? Adroxus was exposed him. slightly. However, probably not spotted. Don't think so. Crimson Corsair's got good cover. Sing's got solid cover. Blue Boys has coverage on Ox Mathis, but not legit. Mac G has only coverage on pre camp and so kind of north of Ox Mathis. Well, he holds. And RBIS holds. Now we're past the five minute mark. If the reset's going to happen, this is about the time it's going to happen. And then you get closer to three minutes. Three minutes, the attack doesn't happen, it goes to a draw. Yeah. Both of these teams are probably waiting right now. Oh, blind fire going out from Heavy 20. Nothing. All right. Legit. From far back, shot fired into the rocks. I think Legit might know where that came from. It's blind fire coming out. Recognizes bad. Eh, looks like it could be from home. There goes Gabriel yeah. Angelos. First one down oh. in the east. Adroxus takes a hit, though, at the same time. About 200 damage. A lot of map indicators happening for Arbus right now. And one of the tanks leaving the very northern position, the Tier 8 Akiyama, heading towards the water. Interesting play. 353. Well, he's heading towards the rock for cover. South approach, perhaps. Or defensive coverage and going for the keyhole positions. When I talk about those, I mean coverage against here, creating a crossfire. Then maybe small window here, but it looks like he's going to keep going north. So that I don't think will be a possibility. Yeah, 323. That clock is getting closer and closer to that not going to happen window yeah. for it, a brawl. It could be a goal for Arbus to just get the damage out, right? Do what they did against Cunningham's. I don't think they planned it from the beginning to go that way, but the happenstance damage they dealt first battle worked in their favor later on. If Simp can bring back the damage dealt... Oh, shots fired pre-cam. Goes down. And he goes. Crimson Corsair shot once, but it was Heavy 20 that got it, but that's one of the shells gone for Crimson. Yes, yeah. two of two. them, actually, for the 5100, and that can... And there's the push. That is it. Sella, Carbon Ward, moving up. Adroxus is taking fire. He goes down. First one. That's one down for Simp. RBIS has the overmatch potential, and now Ox Mathis and Legit pushing in from the south. Who will they focus on first? Blue Boys Captain. Legit fires on the run, misses. Fires again, gets a hit. Blue Boys Captain is falling back. Another shot from Legit. Needs to let Ox Mathis get in front of him. Fires again. Blue Boys Captain backed up against the wall, and Ox Mathis gets the shot and the kill. Crimson Corsair now landing more shots against Ox Mathis. Legit gets the last shot and falls back to reload. Two minutes, and it's one tier eight left along with two of the T1s. Heavy 20 is still alive. He's going to be able to put out a little damage with the crossfire on him. Carbon Ward and Cell are moving up to the hill. Heavy 20 can't do it. He's going to drop down, down. Drop oh. down. He takes 103 damage. These two 1390s are reloading. They'll be reloaded in time to get those kills. But Sella, Carbon Ward from up top, looking for a possible Goomba, but also to chase away these tanks. Sella hits the back of Carbon Ward as he stops to take a shot against Fej. Misses. Fej is going to move out wide, trying to get cover. Heavy 20 also trying to escape. A minute 22. Heavy 20 has to both delay the cap and keep Fej alive. How are you going to do that? Carbon Ward just jumped off the hill. All right, Carbon Ward looking for Heavy 20. T32 fires into the house, takes a big chunk out of it. Good combo. Sella, shots. Sella is guarding him. 10 seconds left, great screening. And nice shot from Ox Mathis from downtown. Gets the kill, Fej last alive. Five seconds left. Three, two, Carbon Ward may find the T1. Finds Fej. And Carbon Ward gets it. That's they cap. kill the tanks and get capped at the same time. RBIS takes battle number one against Simp. Root kill. Listen, I, I said there was an asterisk, right? Yeah. On that first series. Mm -hmm. I might have to take that comment back because there is no reason that any team should not be playing 100% 
crazy to the wall strategies to make it to the finals right now. Yeah. Because this is going to make the difference between prize money and no prize money. Yes. And that was, it, it wasn't exactly crazy. I know this strat. This is Waterside. The 21390s, write down the one line, see what you get, hold the north, 5100, T32, and what was that? Oh, yeah, another T32. Two of those combined with the 5100, that's plenty of damage. They're going to pay way too much to kill those three tanks. In the meantime, mobility with 1390s, backfield, whatever you need to do, flank fire, anything. It's a solid strategy, solid approach to the game, especially from the north. Simp understands how to defend mines. They've done it a lot. They've done it in Clan Wars. They brought it to tournaments. They're also just exceptional defenders overall. Arbus understood what they needed to do. They executed the proper strat. They did it safely enough. They did not get ahead of themselves. And they waited until they got a little bit of free damage. That was it. That free damage, that whittling of damage, mm -hmm. is so perfect for Waterside. Mm -hmm. Because it puts the enemy on the back foot. Mm -hmm. And when you're able to create that pincer attack, the two T-32s pushing up first, or the, the T-32s pushing up first, yeah, they were both two T-32s. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. was one of them Pershing? No, it was T-32s. And then the opening of the south was great. The T-32s able to stay in the conflict for a while, and then they focus on Blue Boy's captain first. They, fo they focus on the first target in the south, and then they continue to sweep in. Yeah. Uh, really, really 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 great type of um they they coordinated their, aggression they gave their opponent two questions to answer yes what do i do about the north yes. what do i do about the south it was too much they'd lost too many hit points they did not have the infrastructure in their defense to just deflect that they could not deal with it and tempo control all to arbus now they have that same kind of control going in with one win they can dictate what their opponent's going to do Battle number two is going to be Himmelsdorf. Himmelsdorf. Countdown is almost finished. Rukil, what do we have for tanks? For tanks, we have three AMX 5100s, two IS-3s, two T1 Cunninghams for Simp. They're the red team spawning in the north. Arbus, three 5100s, two IS-3s, two T1 Cunninghams. They're the blue team in the south. It is a mirror matchup between these tankers. The second mirror matchup we've seen tonight. So who's going to perform it better? Well, no surprise here. I just want to say it right now. Got a west side strat from Simp. It's going to be down to Arbus to try and execute to dig them out. Now, I believe earlier today, Arbus was the defending side, the north side. Yes, they were. The on, northwest. They had that sword. triangle spread from Bravo 4 down to Charlie 2. Yeah, but it did go to a draw. Arbus versus Cunningham's draw him and Storm. Yes, it did. So if Arbus wants to win this one, they have to understand the like, oh, this is actually turning into something else. It's actually turning into west side aggression. Heavy 20 and a Droxus. Traditional battle buddies. Always good to see them together. These guys have so much damage, so many kills between the two of them. Over 50 as IS-3 battle buddies. And I believe around 70k damage between the two of them. Adroxus and Heavy 20 getting ever closer. This could be a fast cap. And the setup from Arbus is such that they could be prepared for this. This is looking to be an engagement around the southern cap. In the north, though, Crimson Corsair is still in his 5100 waiting. There's a potential overmatch that could happen. Akiyama going to move to that corner. Waiting for a tank to cross out in the open. Heavy 20 trying to get through. He's going to try and stealthily get as close as he can to his opponent. Adroxus might have to push him, or no. He's waiting for Adroxus to catch up so he does not get himself caught out. Turns to the left. Clear. Forward clear. Right clear. You've got Fedge moving onto the cap. And fires and gets it legit. Good call from the 5100. Good coverage. That kills a lot of the cap potential from Simp. They should have covered Fedge, I think, going onto the cap, maybe. Uh, unless they just wanted to know. I mean, that's the risk you take. You say, hey, you know what? Cap's not going to work. Now, we have an interesting problem. Mac G is in the north, and he will have to take on Precam and Gabriel. He's going to begin moving south, opening up the potential for cap pressure from Arbus. Crimson Corsair is moving east, and he could come around and flank behind the position of Arbus. You see how that's going to work out down the eight, eight line, I think? Yep. Yeah. 
But if that flank happens, those two T1s have got to get on that flag cap from Arbus. Arbus can hold off, I think. They have the equal lineup. They can hold. They have T1 advantage, and they can cap. MACG, if he continues forward and even dies, this very well could just make it a loss. That's actually cap beginning. Yep, cap beginning from Simp. Putting that pressure on Arbus. Ah, I see. Different angle of cap. Adroxus and Singh are going to be chilling out on cap. The northern approach to it. Forcing Arbus to move south. Now, their T1s are going to begin moving to cap. Mac will spot that if he doesn't continue forward. And Crimson Corsair is waiting to stop that cap. But the overmatch is apparent. And the push begins. Sela taking 271. 635 to start the fight. Akiyama gets hit from one side on Blue Boy's cap. He hits legit as well. And Legit and Akiyama trying to move up as Blue Boy's captain is there. They have to move up now to get that reset. Legit is so low! And he... Oh, he was unable to get the reset, but Akiyama is. Akiyama's gonna take so much damage. These 5100s are gonna fall like tinfoil! Just crumpled up and thrown away. Heavy 20 falls on the side of Simp. But Blue Boy's captain lands so many great hits against those 5100s. Crimson Corsair is also coming in as backup, and he is directly behind the members of Arbus. They're going to be getting off cap. Simp has to get off cap, and Crimson is going to be able to put out enough damage. M momentum is going back towards Arbus. Ten seconds left for Arbus up top. Can the T1 win that battle? Eight seconds left. MACG fires at Precambrian. He does get the reset, but MACG still alive. Ox Mathis trying to hold against Adroxus here. In and the he south. has to stop the cap. He has to stop the cap. He Actually falls. 18 seconds left. And the tank's in the center. Blue Boy's captain needs to get tracked. Carbon Ward trying to get the shot. And he falls. 10 seconds left. Blue Boy's captain can probably barely get there in time. Five more seconds. T1s. Two. One. Base has been captured. Base has been captured. RBIS does it. They take battle number two. They are up 2-0 against Sim. I can't believe it. <laughs> this is crazy. This, this is, is this no, is, no, no. Right. This is just like the last time. This they is fought. the last time it happened. Yes. Okay, and I was thinking, well, you know, all right, so, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, all right. right, not this case. Okay, <laughs> last time it was Ruinberg and Prohorovka. Look oh, at this. Look yes. how close Blue Boy's captain is. Tries to land the shot. Base captured the moment he turns the corner. It's too late. It's, it's too late. It's too late. But, RBIS but, is in wanna, such a great position. All right, I want to make this point. Okay, Go ahead. last time they fought. Ruinberg and Prohorovka went to Arbus. This time, it is Mainz and Himmelsdorf. Last time they played, Arbus lost on Mainz. Last time they played on Himmelsdorf, Arbus lost on Himmelsdorf. This time they've turned it around. They've learned from that. They've improved. They've prepared for this opponent. I'm very Man, impressed I, right now. I and am too. I am it, too. I can only imagine what RBS is feeling right now. But guess this. Ruinberg went to Arbus, right? Mm -hmm. Last time. Next map is Ruinberg. Will Simp be able to improve this time and outplay Arbus where they were outplayed last time? Or will Arbus continue that momentum showing this level of improvement and kick Simp down to fight the Cunninghams? And that means that either Simp or the Cunninghams will not be yeah. in the finals. But it's not over yet. Let's, let's know, not get I too know, ahead. I know. Uh, yeah. Uh, just throwing out hypotheticals, guys. Yep. It's fun. We were in the same scenario last week. Again, RBIS was up 2-0 against Simp. Then Simp turned around and smacked them. Now, three here's another scenario I just realized. The amount of damage dealt by Simp in that last battle was so much more than Arbus. If this goes to a shootout or it goes to that Sand River, Simp has that advantage of damage right now. For now, they do. For now. But, but well, that's a just, RBS destroyed all the other tanks and the other ones. So it's only for this battle they have the advantage. It's a pretty solid advantage. Yeah, compared so, to Blue destroying all the like other 2K tanks. Blue damage. Destroyed, well, compared to destroying all the tanks in battle number one. Yeah, okay. It was RBIS good. is still in the lead damage wise. Yeah, I mean, okay. All right. Really <laughs> all right. Okay. For now, it's only we're only moving into battle number two. Ah. I hope the audience is as excited as we are to see this because it's great to see a contender go head to head against Simp that is not. Fanatic. Real kill, what do we have for tanks? Battle number three. All right, so we've got two 5100s, an IS-3, two 1390s, and two T1 Cunninghams. That is Simp, the red team in the south. Arbus in the north, the blue team. Three 5100s, a single IS-3, 1390, two T1 Cunninghams. This is an interesting trade-off. We've got a very heavy auto-loader lineups here. 
Instead of taking two IS-3s, they're just taking the one. A Droxus is the IS-3, Heavy-20 deciding to go to a 5100 in this case instead of being that battle buddy. But we've seen this in the past. Sip has done this before, and both teams are going east side. Both teams are going to the east, opening scout runs. Blue Boys moving to the far east, Sing. Very far east, and we've got a Droxus and Heavy-20 in effectively pinned positions. Ox Mathis moves up. Does he get a shot on Androxus? Does he have the angle? You know, Sell is trying no. to paint him a target right now with that scouting. This and position. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. The tension is high. Remember, the winner, if RBIS wins this, they go to the finals. And Simp goes down. Precamp's dead. Blue Boys Cam gets the first kill. Simp goes down in the decider match against the Cunninghams. Okay, so if Sela got enough good lighting, he could have mapped out the positions. If they, they saw Adroxus, I'm fairly sure. Heavy 20 may have been spotted. Blue Boys has been lit now. He spotted Precam, fired at him. Think it works both ways in that situation. A zero line push could be exactly what Arbus needs in order to attain victory. Now, who is that? Tier 8 in Alpha 8. Let's go find out. It is not legit. He is in Delta 0. It's Akiyama that is in Alpha 8 right now in that AMX 5100. Okay, that's... He will have to move out of that position if Arbus wants to make a push. Obviously, they don't have enough information to feel confident enough in making that kind of a push. They're going to keep that defensive position, put the pressure on Simp to make a mistake. Simp can draw one battle, and then they have to go and win the next two to go to Sand River. Now, if they do not succeed at that, if they which do is not it, succeed, if they do not succeed, that's incredibly bad. They, they have to win two. <laughs> yeah. They have to win two. Yes. How do you win two against a team like Arbus, who seems so prepared? You have to play your best strategies. You have to play your best game. You cannot miss shots. You cannot find yourself overmatched. And Simp is putting themselves in the area where they know where RBAS is, right? They've drawn the line in the sand. That line is at Echo Road right now. And they do not want to be caught by surprise. They do not want a fly cap to happen again. They're trying to measure every placement, every guesstimation of where RBAS tanks are. Akiyama is playing the long game. He's playing that quarterback play of being way far back and everyone else is shotgunning. He can go left, he can go right, he can help push, he can help defend, he can guard that flag cap. He is the offsetter right now between what happens with Simp pushing, Simp staying in one position, or sw Simp sweeping towards the west and going for the flag cap. Yeah. And now I'm seeing a little bit of a grouping. Motion coming out from the tanks forward in the Arbus position. 1390 moving in. Sela is very important and his ability to get free damage and do scouting. Now Simp is moving up a little bit. I see Crimson Corsairs move to the high ground, which is a smart move. It will keep Blue Boys a little safer, that low ground, to the southwest of the Delta Village is such that if tanks are far enough away from the very edge, if they're over on the zero line very far that way, it's difficult to get fire on them. Moving up to the high ground, moving up to the east is smart. Heavy 20 is going to be out of the fight if it happens in the east, in the Delta Village. Adroxus, much the same. He has some high ground, but he does not have a great view, as it were. So Simp is in a position where they can defend. It's very difficult. Arbus has to recognize their advantages, where to push, where the pressure point is, mm -hmm. and just go for it. I don't think they're going to go for it until they move Akiyama out of that position, get knowledge, intel set tempo, all of these things. Five minutes, 34 seconds. I could see Simp playing this for the draw, but... They won't. They, that puts them in such a bad place. Because yeah. it's only one more draw away from RBAS from taking the series. Heavy 20, Adrox is moving out of that position. We've got an all-out push waiting to happen. Simp is getting ready to move. They, ha they know the pressure is on. They're unwilling to let this go to a tiebreaker. They don't want to risk it. 506. Ox Mathis out in the middle field here near the TIE Fighter. Sella takes down Fej. Legit takes 217 damage. It's Blue Boys. 1390, good positioning. 
right there through the buildings. Cell and Legit dancing back and forth. They're on edge. And here's the push coming up. Singh is going to be moving up the zero line. Adroxus, Crimson Corsair, moving down the maid room. Once Singh gets in close, we'll see this start to develop. Heavy 20 is going to be the center tank. Adroxus crossing the road. That's a risky play. And Crimson Corsair sitting out in the open. Plenty of bush cover from him. Uh, I think Adroxus is going to lead the way into this fight. And Crimson Corsair takes a shot against Legit. Legit can't fire back. Singh gets another one. Legit, you got to fall back. He's burning. He burns for a second. His auto fire extinguisher goes off. And now they can con concentrate on Legit. He's the next to fall. Legit to too, too much damage. He's way out in the open for too long. The crossfire by Simp. He was so good. So good. Sela is now trapped a bit. So where's the return fire coming from the rest of these tanks? This is where Akiyama pushes in. The quarterback. Carbon Ward on his own. All these tanks focusing on one. And Singh moves in. 5,100 in trouble. Sela trying to return fire, and there's two tier eights down. Long range fire coming from Akiyama. He's the next tank to fall. 1,100 damage. Sela goes down. And there goes Akiyama. Ox Mathis, last tier eight alive. Surround coming from R, coming from Simp against RBAS's last tier eight, Ox Mathis. And Ox Mathis takes down a Droxus. Not bad. Everyone reloading right now in the Delta Village. Blue Boys comes Except in. For Blue Boys. Yeah, now he'll be loaded in a moment. Waits for the shot. Ox Mathis can't get it. That Traverse speed from Blue Boys staying away from the danger. Bounces Blink. a shot. And gets the last one right to the turret. Gabriel Angelos, last tank alive for Arbus. Trying to park himself in the building. But it's enough time for Simp to go for the flag cap. Smart play by Simp. They they used the timer correctly. That's exactly what they needed to do. Not waste time and not give potential for a draw. Now they've won the fight cleanly, by the way. Look, four tier eights left alive. Only Adroxus left. Only Adroxus dies of the tier eights. As expected, he's the ice three leads the way. The crossfire was perfect. The thing is, legit, you have no reason to move out and engage or to even get out of that cover to engage. Wait for them to try to turn the corner and have you and Sela have a great double attack on one of those corners. He but was he was not in the best position. That's no, it no, that's, exa yeah, that's exactly the right. The position too. did not afford him enough cover. Now Singh actually misses the position of Gabriel. Not thinking he'd go into that position. Maybe he'll not go that way, Sing turn around. Ah, no, he won't find it. On the cap, Crimson Corsair, racking up them purple points. Heavy 20, Mac G. Give it about 10 seconds, it'll be over. And Simp will start setting that momentum back in their direction. Oh, history's repeating itself once again, Randall. Mm. But it that's only like one win. That's only one win. Simp needs to get three. Simp takes Ruinberg, battle number three. They put a point on the board. They allow a lot of their fans to have a deep sigh of relief. Yeah. And RBIS, however, still in the lead, two to one. All right. Well, in this series. one more win. That's all Arvis needs. One single win. And they will take this. Yep. They can get a draw and, ta and make it so this goes to a tiebreaker. They can do a heck of a lot of things. There's a lot of options still for Arbus, but they need to keep it together, I think. One loss does not mean it's over. One loss does not mean it's going to repeat itself. Apparently, Arbus learned from their mistakes last time. They won on maps where they previously lost. But they could just be momentum-based. If you see them win two first, that means they go into this lot of energy, a lot of momentum, a lot of... A lot of uh, preparation. Mm -hmm. A lot of preparation. Yeah. A and lot then, of specific preparation. But then they lose momentum. They start losing the final battles. So Well, that's... they're making small mistakes. And yeah. from small and simple things, great things come to pass. Mm. And from small and simple cover, great explosions happen to your tanks. And that's what happened to that 5100. Bad placement, legit. Cliff will be battle number four between these two teams. The first time we're seeing Cliff tonight. And... I wonder mm -hmm. if this new road, again, is going to come into play. Again? Again. The new road. Yeah. Again. <laughs> always. Always. It, well, last time. It is like, the play now, pretty much. Look at the last time these guys played. They met in the new road, the one leading from the low ground in the west to the mm -hmm. high ground. Now, 
RBS was in the league too for a bit. Yeah. They had a great trap and then they fell apart. They they got over aggressive. Yeah, they did. If they go into the same situation again, it looks like Simp will be in the north this time though, instead of the south. Mm-hmm. So a bit of a switch up, bit of a trade up. We'll see how they handle the sides. All right. The countdown has begun. Battle number four. RBS is up two to one against Simp. Rukio, what do we have for tanks? For tanks, we have a T69. Four. 1390s, two T1 Cunninghams. That is Simp, the red team spawning in the north. In the south, we have RBIS, two T69s, three 1390s, two T1 Cunninghams. All right, a slightly more mobile lineup for Simp. They're going to have the ability to grab positions a little bit better, but the burst coming out of Arbus is such that I believe, oh, I'm gonna just take back what I was about to say. Never mind. I was gonna talk about the east side. They're going west. Arbus is sending everything. Everything? Absolutely everything. Okay. Akiyama is lagging behind slightly. Pre-camp. Even even the T1s are going to the west. They've got their 20 mils loaded. Does not look like they're ready for T8 killing, but we'll see how that goes. Sella leads the way. Fetch might be able to spot this down below. But this is a normal setup from Simp. Blue Boys, is he going to go to the high ground? Is he going to take the lighthouse? Yeah, he makes the turn, going to the high ground. And this is going to be high ground advantage from Simp. They're going to have the lighthouse versus west side from RBIS. Placement on that east versus west. We'll have to see. Ah, uh, Fetch. It's going to go down to Gabriel in pre camp. T1 pressure could be what does it. Fetch goes down. And Mac Gabriel G. Angelos was the first one to get it. Yep. Mac G is all the way in the east. He could return to start cap defense. Looks like they're going to pull heavy 20. Right through the new city. By the way, there is a fancy new little town giving a little bit more coverage to the north mm -hmm. side. They've upgraded some of those buildings. Mm -hmm. Well, they, uh, they erected actual buildings. Whereas before it was just an open field. Eh, guys, we don't need anything here. It's just fields where we got a road. Now Heavy 20 he is moving to find and hunt T1s. I'm waiting to see if Arbus has any real coverage on those tanks. Well, Arbus, they're positioning right now. They have a couple of the tanks just around that donut. Legit Carbon War Nakayama south of that is Ox Mathis up top on this mountain. Solid position, he can put plenty of fire. He just needs someone to spot for him. That's all he needs. As he stays in that position, to the north you have the other T1, Precambrian. Gabriel Angelos, the one that took down Fej, is in Delta Two, right at the bottom of that hillside. but Heavy 20 is looking towards pre-camp. That's the T1 he's going for. Gabriel is safe for now. He's got T8s above him, you know, ready to back him up if need be. It's just pre-camp that's a little bit precarious right now. Stand still on both sides. Seven minutes. Blind Seven fire from seconds. Blue Boys towards pre-camp. Another shot. Let's see. Any more? Are they going to even hit him? Uh, he's going to fall back a bit. Let's check in with Precam to see where some of those shots would be landed. Nowhere close. I think they went right over. Blue Boys doesn't have the greatest accuracy on a 1390. So at that range, you know, that's like 600, 700 yards. Can't really depend on it. Still but now he zeroes again. He's going to look for Precam one more time. Still plenty of time for both teams to readjust their placement. But Blue Boy's captain, he, he loves that position. He's the scout. That's what he does. His job is to spot the bad men. And he also is, as a scout, also somewhat obligated to climb into high places. It seems to be a trend with scouts. Mm -hmm. Even if they're not spotting things. That, they're... that, that high view. Mountain goats. High ground. Yeah. MACG is going to be moving up in his T1. Looks like Simp might be able to put some cat pressure on. Assuming there's no real spotting. Mac goes down. Ox Mathis spotted that. 
Gets that long range shot. Look at that defensive play. The high ground again, except it's, ooh, Blue Boy's captain, however, may have a shot from up above. He doesn't. Does it? Doesn't nope. see him. He's going towards the own cap. Now Heavy 20 is firing the torch pre-camp, but a lot of missed shots. Pre-camp, jukes. Jukes for days. No, oh, Heavy finally 20 falls. That was a lot of missed shells. That should be the time for and Arbus. There, that's what I was looking for. Ox Mathis returns fire to Heavy 20 from up top. Heavy 20 takes a shot. One shell only, though. That's not enough. That is not a real advantage. Crimson Corsair fire, fires towards Ox Mathis. Ox Mathis now on the reload. What about legit Nakayama? Blue Boys Captain hit for 505. Oh. There. Akiyama firing to up top. Gabriel is moving up. That could afford a lot of spotting. Blue Boys looks towards Gabriel. Zeroing, looking for those shots on the T1, but Heavy 20. Heavy 20 is going to move in. Looking to put flank fire on the position of Arbus. If they stay out, they get too aggressive. Heavy 20 is going to punish that once he's reloaded. Well, they're going for those reloads. Sella. It's going to take some time. Oxmath has finished his. Blue Boys captain, if they can lock in that tank, taking it down, RBIS will have an overmatch on their hands and could sweep in to the rest of the placement of Simp. It's not that easy, but that is an opening. 420, left on the clock. Firing shots coming from Simp. That one was towards Oxmath. This did not land. Oxmath is still dancing back and forth. Carbon War in his T69. Looking for an opportunity. They've got four minutes to find that opportunity. Four minutes. Simp with the HP value not in their favor. I do not see them aggressing. I do not see them pushing out. And I see them taking this to San River potentially by going into a must-win battle number five. I what? have an idea. What if... We see Arbus move out of their position in the west. Leave maybe one or two tanks there, but screen it. Bring someone in on their opponent's side from the north and try and create a little bit more protection for Gabriel Angelos to start capping. Bring that in, keep some tanks in the west, mm -hmm. and force the fight, force them to defend. Bring some tanks in. I can see that happening. Oh, no, was that happening? movement right there. Movement happening right now around the corner. Going to the north of the donut, they're pushing together. This is the charge of the musketeers happening from RBIS. Charge of the light brigade, sir. Going up against Simp, and Sella gets tracked. Heavy 20 will be the first target. Crimson Corsair, fizzled shot, it sounded like, and legit Nox Mathis are pushing up against Heavy 20. A lot of shots from long range not landing against Heavy 20. As Heavy 20 falls back, seeing now the next target fire from the long range tanks. And the first one to fall is Heavy 20, but there goes Legit. Sella still on the move. Ox Mathis and Sella take down Singh. Crimson Corsair now leaves the top of the mountain. He's going to cruise in towards Ox Mathis, but Sella's taking a long range shot from one of the SIP tanks to the south, and Sella falls. It's three tier eights against three tier eights right now, and Ox Mathis is super low, and Adroxus takes him down. Crimson, or Corbin, Carbon War against Crimson Corsair. He gets tracked, pulled to the side, tracked again. And Crimson Corsair is able to stay alive as Carbon Ward falls. All that Akiyama has to do is stay alive and delay this. Is he ammo wrecked? I think he might be. His reload is going incredibly slow. His reload slow. is very, very slow. I think that's what it is. He may have just repaired it, but it was damaged, I think. Now with 20 seconds left. Blue Boy's captain moving as fast as he can to get there. Akiyama jumping down. Oh! But just as Akiyama jumps down, Crimson Core switches, switches from Aki right onto Gabriel. Now Blue Boy's captain is loaded. Akiyama falls to Droxus. Simp ties it up two to two. Oh man. Right there, charge the Light Brigade, right into death. Every... That was a bold move. That's all I'm gonna say. That was way too many missed shots from far away. There are so many shots aimed toward Heavy 20 and then seeing that were complete misses. If you're going to move together, move together. Don't split like that. But there is that push. Yeah. It was absolutely insane. The A bold move could have worked. It relies, though, on Simp to not react properly. And if you want a team to react properly and you're betting on someone to react the way that they should, the way that is proper, is Simp. Simp the one team who is the probably one of the best defenders in the league. 
whose reactions are the fastest, and RBIS tried to catch them off guard. It's not going to work. Now in here you have the tanks split. The two T-69s can't get there in time to finish off the tanks in the defilade. Blue Boy's captain offers enough cover, enough damage from up top, and then can move from that position. And then a Duroxus is so far south, they can't even hit him until they cross over that hill. Those T-69s are no threat to him whatsoever. Simp had great placement. And when you charge like that together, stay together. Yeah. Stay together. You focus on one tank, you get the kill, you move on. You can't split like that, especially against Simp. Yeah. I got to point out, exceptional play though. Adroxus, 7 for 7. Nice. In his 1390 Crimson Corsair, fires 12 times, 11 for 11. Well, 11 for 12. All of those connects, all those do damage. On the other side, you have a lot of shots missed here and there. No one's got 100% accuracy. Carbon Ward misses a heck of a lot. But you watched how he got messed up, right? Tracked again and again and again. It's turret going one way and another. It's like Simp was deliberately doing that. And he could never get a zeroed shot. Just kept throwing him off every single time. Prohorovka, the final map in this series, in battle number five, is Simp's worst map in Season 4 Division play. Why? Because of flag captures. C'est la vie yeah. took one. Victoria's Secret took one. RBIS could take one as well for the win, but Simp could defend for the win. It's so up in the air. It's now a best of one between these two teams. Rukil, what do you have for tanks? T32, T69, 313-90s, 2T1 Cunninghams. That is Simp, the red team in the north, the blue team, south, Arbus, T32, T69, 313-90s, 2T1 Cunninghams. Same lineups on either side, all the way down to execution. Akiyama and Carbon Ward heading more towards the center for Arbus. As we see Simp heading towards the west, except for Blue Boy's captain with the active scout. He is going to go for that opening scout run. Same strat, by the way. Simp ran earlier. Same mentality. Very difficult to defeat. And the spread from Arbus worries me. I'm seriously worried right now for their ability to deflect this. They're in the low ground. They have some tanks in the high ground. It's very similar to their opponent. Sella, even two hits, 506 damage on the opening scout Crimson run. Corsair was ready. His body was ready. His tank was ready to get That's... those shots. That's painful, dude. That, sh that kind of risk in the opening scout run. You see an opponent, you back down. Yeah, he stayed on the high ground for too long. Flew too close to the sun in his tank. Yeah. Carbon Ward's going to pop up. Looking for an opening. Fires, Shit. bounces off of Droxus. They bounce off each other. Yeah. Little hey, how you doing to both tanks? Yeah. There's the bounce off the turret. Blue Boy takes a hit, 211. And now a Droxus for 261. Ox Mathis getting a little damage here and there. Carbon Ward may flex. He does bounce off his tank. And now the damage heading towards Blue Boy's captain is going to even it out. Adroxus takes a hit. Yeah, now Blue Boy's has to get out of the low ground. Can't risk it. He's at a similar health to sell it. And Singh takes a shot. Singh taking damage. All right. Arbus is getting, making it happen. And there's the T1. Macchi is down. And Adroxus gets hit again. Carbon Ward bouncing so many shots. Heavy 20s going up and over. Very deep scout run. I don't know if that's a wise choice at all. He's down. He catches fire. 548 on that hit. This is turning into an advantage for RBIS. And Adroxus gets hit. Crimson Corsair hit for 473. What is happening? And now, Carbon Ward hit on the side. Okay, he takes a hit. Damage onto Akiyama. That is something. But there's so much getting spread around Simp right now. Blue Boys puts one to the dirt. And a heavy 20 going on. And Crimson is moving up for the... Crimson Corsair tries to get a shot on the side, but he takes 219 damage. Carbon Ward, however, is in trouble. And now Singh, heavy 20, and the rest of Simp are pushing up against these two tanks. It's going to be an all-out brawl between RBIS and Simp. Sella, low, waiting for another shot. Gabriel Angelos with the T1 is going to try to do something in this firefight. Ox Mathis gets behind Adroxus, gets the kill. Carbon Ward takes down Singh. Gabriel Angelos still in a firefight. Ox Mathis falls, but Blue Boy's captain. No, he doesn't what? fall. He takes down Blue Boy's captain pre-Cambrian, falls to Fej. This is it! RBIS, one tank away from moving on to the finals. Fej, the last tank, the last hope. 705 left on the battle clock. T1's firing just for the hell of it. Fej on the run. Ox Mathis chasing him, legit right behind him. This is it. Ox Mathis is going to push up, find that T1, and get the kill. He's going to ram it. And he deserves it. And they've done it!
RBIS has defeated Simp. RBIS is going to the finals. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't believe it. I am baffled right now. I can... They did... Yeah, they did it. They did it. <laughs> We're looking at the numbers that happened. The game confirms it. Listen, Prohorovka, we looked at the stats for Simp. Yes. Worst map for them because of the flag caps. Mm -hmm. Automatically... We're going, Sella, no, Sella, you've been hit. Oh, no, RBS is not going to make it. Something happens. Carbon Ward is landing shot after shot after shot in the T-32. Yes. He is dealing damage. He is the presence of danger continually. Look at this type of brawl, though. And then, but what is Simp doing? Why do they push in? They, they want Sella is why. They, uh, you're going all the way in for one kill. Look at this, so much damage waiting to happen on our business side. You have the same lineups, the same potential. And there's a crash. Yeah. Look at this, this T32. 10 for 15. Okay. Nice. Consistent fire tank, good. Okay. 2,313 damage. Right below him, legit, too legit to quit. 6 for 7, 1,429 damage. Ox Mathis, 8 for 11, 1403. Three tanks spreading. That much damage. And then below the T69, and then uh, Sella, 543, and the T69, 693. Yeah. Gabriel Angelo's 12. Hey, why not? And that 12 was to his own team. Hey, Free Cam got 37. <laughs> I, What happened, I think that Sim made a mistake in, is that they took all that fire. Then they, oh, yeah. they got really aggressive behind it. They try and push in, go for something wild and crazy that their opponent's not expecting. I think maybe even they recognized their inability to win. Mm -hmm. And that Arbus was that good of a team. Let's just go at him. That's we don't yeah. have enough time to salvage the situation. Oh my goodness, RBIS has guaranteed their spot, and that means Simp versus the Cunninghams will be the decider match. Yes, and that means either Simp or the Cunninghams are not making it to the finals, which is absolutely mind blowing. How will Simp come off of this? They have not lost at in, all in an entire season. The only times they've ever lost have been season one finals, season two finals. After that, none. Zero losses. I don't know how they're going to react to that. Are they going to be able to regroup from this? I, or, think, I think they can. Uh, well, we all think they can, but the question is, will they? Yeah. You look at the first two battles, Mines and Himmelsdorf, right? Mm -hmm. You put it together so well by bringing up the past series in that it was the two maps that RBS lost to Simp when they were up 2-0. So they're up 2-0 mm -hmm. again on the maps that they lost. Yes. And then they fall on Ruhlenberg and Cliff. Maps that they... Mm. I was... Cliff, Simp takes, no big surprise. Yeah. But... Ruhlenberg, it was RBIS's yeah, win. last time. Okay. But then Simp is able to bring it around. Exceptional play. I All was right. very impressed with that. All right. I'm sure, ladies and gentlemen, that this excitement has been contagious from us at the commentator desk... But we have Aquavolt on the line for a winner's interview. Aquavolt, can you hear me? I can hear you. Dude, how excited is your team right now? Uh, I can't believe it. I don't think anybody from my team can believe it. I, I'm i still in shock. I, I, it's un This is unbelievable. How much preparation did you put in for the possibility of facing Simp? Because the pattern that we saw from last week first two wins and then those losses and then today the two the two out of the three losses that you had were mines and himmelsdorf and you took those wins right off the bat well, did you put just hours and hours of preparation what did you do in order for that to happen no we we didn't put in days and hours of practice or anything like that the problems that we had when we lost three matches in a row to simp last week it was basic mechanics it was just basic things that you need to nail down and we failed at that last week so this week coming through we made sure that we we're focused we made sure after the first two games we kept our head screwed on tight and we made sure that we played the worst the way we're supposed to play why did that push happen on cliff though that insane charge the light brigade style thing uh i i can't say about that uh because i wasn't in that much I honestly don't know. Were you listening to the comms? Uh, the comms are pretty crazy the entire time. A okay. lot of uh, focus fire, focus fire, do this, go here. So I, I wasn't sure when a uh, a light push was happening. Okay, what about uh, the 
match that we saw on Prohorovka, the final match. What what was that like? What were comms like for that one? Because Sella took so much damage at the beginning. We're freaking out a little bit as commentators going, oh no, why were you up there for so long? And then Carbon War says, don't worry guys, I got this. And he does <laughs> over 2,000 damage. Um, I did hear in comms that uh, Sella was scouting too much. I'm assuming he was probably uh, scouting. But uh, after the match was playing out, uh, there was a lot more uh, just heavy focus fire, focus fire, focus fire. That was pretty much the only thing that I could hear in comms, just focus fire, focus fire, focus fire. And then everybody was like, yes, we did it, guys. Wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. So, uh, you know, pre-Cambrian and the rest of, of the roster, the rest of the team, the seven players are going to be going out there. What type of preparation will you be having until August 30th? Uh, <laughs> I, I can't say we, as far as preparation goes, like actual, you know, four, five days a week of practice, it, we're just going to do the same thing we've always been doing. I still can't believe that we've made it this far. It's unreal. Absolutely unreal. I, I can't believe it. Well, Akavolt, you, myself, Rukil, producer Sean, and everyone else here in the production area production room for WGLNA knew that it was possible because of the power of Aquavolt. <laughs> <laughs> Aquavolt, it brings you to the finals. Any party words you have for us, my friend? Uh, oh my god, I, I'm going to be speechless for, uh, for quite a while, but uh, I, it, was, it was an amazing adventure coming up from, uh, from Bronze League up to Silver League. All of all the six, seven weeks of Gold League, it was one huge adventure, and I'm, I'm really thankful. All right. Well, congratulations. We'll see your team, a top four team now in the Gold League, compete for that $100,000 prize pool August 30th in Seattle. Until then, Aqua Vote, we wish you and your team the best of luck in their preparation. We'll see you soon.